Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a love reading for the month of October. There you are. We're going to get a couple of outcome positions. Look at the intent, the hopes, the fears. Any external factors you need to be aware of. I'll also give you timing on anything if it comes across. All right, Pisces. So remember the energies can always be reversed. Also remember it is a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind if it does resonate. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Looks like a lot of healing self-care has been there for some you could be single if that's the case we'll see if anything is new is coming in all right yeah i mean it looks like somebody's been working their ass off possibly on both sides if there's somebody that you're dealing with here all right let's see <clears throat> the month of october you got the strength card crossed by the eight of pentacles could be dealing with the leo there you are in the past the page of pentacles for some i mean there's a there's a uh a conversation an opportunity that really it feels like puts things in motion the strength card is here though so it doesn't feel like something is as easy as it could be because that intent with the two of swords we'll see the fear is okay so basically <clears throat> Somebody may not be completely honest, either with self or in general. So there could be a situation that like involves children or like somebody not being completely honest about something. So as a result, they end up feeling guilty as hell. Um, I'm going to walk you through this. So with the overall energy being the strength card and the eight of pentacles, we got the five of cups up there and around the middle of the month, the seven of swords. The Seven of Swords can be a deceptive energy, somebody not being completely honest. And this intent is the Two of Swords. So this can be to not acknowledge things, to kind of keep things at a crossroads, but also to kind of be blinded to the fact of, of something there. So um, the hope is the Ace of Cups. It feels like you have a story going on here. Um, anyway, let's get to it. The fear is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is Earth energy, but it's the slowest moving Knight of the day. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles usually brings something solid to the table after, you know, it takes a while, but um, it does look like that's trying to happen around the first of the month. Also, it's very possible um, this is pertaining for some, like around the job opportunity that presents itself. We're ending with the five of cups. So, so it, 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 it's, the energy is almost like somebody ends up feeling guilty. So they put in more effort. All right, Pisces, let's just clarify all this and find out. So the hope is the ace of cups. The hope is new beginning in love to follow one's heart. That intent though can be like our heart chakra kind of being closed off possibly because of trust issues or somebody's deception show me the strength card please for pisces for the month of october let's just get right to it you got the strength card the hermit virgo energy the empress taurus libra energy there may have been some pain there. Like somebody took a while to offer like something solid, marriage, something long-term. This doesn't necessarily look like a lot of movement. Um, it could be more so. It looks like that, you know, the effort is trying to be made here. Something with the hermit and the, uh, it's all about setting a clear intent. Let's keep going. Show me the Queen of Cups in the past. The Queen of Cups is your energy. What went on 
in the past, please. You got the Eight of Cups. You walked away from a person, a situ a love. We're asking about love, but with the Nine of Pentacles there, it looks like, okay, the positive and the positive. You walked away from something here for your highest good. It could be to like follow your career goals and dreams. But the thing is from the past, you got the nine of pentacles and you're ending the month with the empress. So financially, security, career wise, looks great. Emotionally though, it feels like you pulled something, you pulled away from someone in the past. Show me this nine of pentacles. You actually could have done like with that, like a lot with career, but also a lot around self care. Maybe even like changed your, your look, your hair. So show me, start a new like workout, meditation, whatever. It's a lot of, it's a lot of self come up. Show me this page of pentacles, please. Hold on. All right, page of pentacles for the first of the month. You got the six of pentacles, the fool and the 10 of wands. It looks like somebody's taking a chance here around the beginning of the month and actually trying to work something out. But it does look like it's it's pretty dang difficult. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Justice card, like I said, Libra energy, but to work something out. This is going <clears> to... <throat> this is going to end up becoming a grass wasn't greener situation. Because it does look like something is hard right now. Getting that equal give and take, giving back what you're putting into it. And we're ending with the Five of Cups. Show me that intent with the Two of Swords. The Hangman. The Hangman is your energy. But that, with that intent, it's not much intent to uh, to move, to make progress, to take action towards something. I have one more for intent. Honestly, it feels like which, what's happening here, because we're ending with the Hermit and in the past with the Eight of Cups, you're taking time for yourself, going through like an in introspective, introspection energy. Uh oh shit shoot i dropped cards all right yeah you're not you're not trusting this and this person is uh actually intimidated by that you have the three of swords the queen of swords that cleared it all up the eight of swords the five. you may actually cold shoulder something here or um yeah it's just kind of an energy where there has been pain in the past and you may have had to you know carry a lot of the weight on your own shoulders take care of things yourself so with the two of swords again, it just doesn't look like there's much intent to make any type of moves right now. It's like needing some alone time. Show me the seven of swords for about mid month, please. Midish month. <clears throat> you got the seven of swords, the death, and the devil. It's actually a really good energy. Um, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy. You are making a huge change here because somebody may not have been completely honest, but with the devil there and the death card, you're breaking some type of cycle. This could be anything from like leaving your comfort zone, which could have been love and relationships and things like that. There could have been a situation that involved like, um, you know, drinking or just getting stuck in a comfortable zone and not being able to like pull away and uplift yourself. But you're breaking those cycles this month. Show me this Knight of Pentacles, please, for fears. So the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy. The fear could definitely be the amount of time something takes. But um, show me the Knight of Pentacles, please. The Knight of Pentacles is often, oh, the fear is guilt. The fear is regret. The fear is already how this is ending up. I hope this isn't you feeling like this. It's almost like the fear is letting self down. 
because this is a guilty, this is somebody feeling guilty because it's like you're taking time for yourself. You're doing what you have to do to better yourself. You're breaking cycles here. The fear is feeling guilty and that's going to happen regardless. Well, not regardless. I'm saying it's coming out that way. But this is just simply a period of self-growth and introspection. Show me the Six of Cups for external factors, please. So this is kind of externally what you need to know. The Two of Swords. There could be a situation, like I said, that involves children. But the feelings are here. They're real. But it looks like the Four of Cups. Um, uh, two ways this could go now. Uh, somebody is just not, in her, the intent is not there. And they're not budging towards feelings, emotions. This Ace of Cups is up here. Um, it's, it's almost like the energy though of like somebody's not taking much action. It's like the feelings are here, but not going towards it. And it kind of feels like that's on this other person's side. Of course, it could go either way. Show me the Ace of Cups, please, for hopes. This Ace of Cups feels like it's tied back to the past with this Nine of Pentacles. Focusing on self-love, self-care, self-improvement, your goals. You got the Three of Swords there for hope. Something here caused a lot of pain. And with the intent and the hope, so like, it feels like the hope is still there, but there's just not a whole lot of budging towards much. It's almost like somebody, even if they wanted to, kind of just sitting in a, in a painful place. But again, this is somebody just what I call hermit mode, taking some time for self, breaking old habits. Show me the five of cups, please for the outcome for Pisces. Uh-oh, way too many. Five of Cups for the outcome of October. The Six of Pentacles, same energy that's over here at the beginning of the month. This is somebody who is actually going to end up kicking into action and putting in a whole lot of work, realizing that the grass wasn't greener. That Emperor Aries energy. And you have the Emperor and the Empress here. This is kind of similar to an immediate future reading I did for you guys the other day. So make sure you check that out. I'll try to put the link up in the corner. Try to remember. This is just somebody who needs some time for self. There is a lot of emotional pain here, but the feelings are also real. And on the, the positive side, um, some bad habits are getting broken and it's almost like this brings it back stronger than ever. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.